On this episode of The Rusty Cracker, we drive through snow and ice, a semi-truck flips over and blocks the whole interstate. And that's what I'm talking about. People are crazy here. And we finally go back to our special Rusty Keto diet. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Rusty and we are back truck driving around America. As you guys can tell, it is snowing. We have snow on the ground. So we are back in the 2021 Volvo VNL 860 Globetrotter XL. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and watch my other videos. I just got this truck. We did all these logos. We actually have underglow and stuff like that. Pretty interesting video. Also, I have a review video on this truck inside and out, everything all about it. So I'm not gonna go through everything again so it won't be repetitive anyways we are here right off i-10 it is snowing there's snow all around it is winter time i'm not sure when this video is going to come out but it's probably going to be in the spring or something because i have a bunch of videos ahead of time and everything like that and we're about to go explore a little bit look if there's any more sketchy things going on in there and then we are heading out i guess this is a tourist location there's a car right there with some people looking around this place also i mean it's nice just to you know come by take a break Look at all these little stuff. Yeah, there's some fams here. <laughs> How you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, I remember trying to going down this hole and I was always so sketched out to do so because it is just so dark in there and there's some blankets and could be dead bodies, you know, who knows? All this cool graffiti. You gotta watch where you step here though. Some sus going on up in here. Well, you guys seen this place before, so I'm not gonna show you too much more of it, but let's head up on a road. Oh my gosh, it's locked, but try not to step on the mud right here. As you guys can tell, 31 degrees outside, and yeah, it's cold. It's winter time, it's freezing, pretty much freezing temperatures. It looks like it's raining, but it's actually freezing up on my window when I'm driving. Very dangerous conditions. We're on I-10, we're about to be merging on I-20. We are going towards East Coast. We are going to Charlotte, North Carolina. I think the worst thing about this weather is the advisory going on right now it says there's a bunch a bunch of snow in odessa texas midland everything right there and people just do not know how to drive here in texas no offense texas i love you guys right but when it becomes snowy and raining just people don't know how to drive i mean they're just everywhere everybody's wrecked on the side of the road we're definitely gonna see a bunch of that uh yeah so have fun watching i guess but yeah, it's going to be a crap show. Oh yeah. Also, I forgot to tell you guys that we already have 13,000 miles on this truck. Yes, 13,000. I remember last time we left off, I think I only had a couple thousand. Is that right? I think it was like four or 5,000 miles. And yeah, I mean, I put some miles on this truck, barely didn't record because guys, look, I record all the time. The problem is when the footage is boring, I, I drive coast to coast, nothing happens, right? I don't upload the footage, I just delete it. I mean, maybe I should start just uploading all this footage, but it's gonna be boring. My content isn't about that. It's about making great content. So if this content is coming out, that means something's gonna happen and something, I guess, fun will happen. I don't know yet, I can't tell the future, but I guess you guys can because you're watching this video, right? So yeah, that's why I do that. And 13,000 miles on this 2021 Volvo is pretty decent. Still had zero issues with it. Hopefully it stays that way. Please, please, please be reliable. This might be my first truck ever that will not break down and leave me stranded. So that will be a big, big plus for Volvo and a big plus for the company.
entering Pecos, Texas, and yeah, no snow. That's good. Maybe I was tripping, right? It's all water. I think the degrees went up a little bit also. I think it's 36 degrees now. So I think we're all Gucci. We are in dead stop traffic. It said incident ahead, but I don't know, man. Probably an accident or something. It doesn't look like it's snowing. It, I mean, I, I do see flurries and stuff, but I don't really see snow on the ground. Maybe this happened not on a snow, maybe just rain or something. I still have not installed a CB radio. I don't know why I'm being so lazy. I just need to go ahead and buy one. I mean, it's like, I think I can buy a Cobra one for about 60, 70 bucks. Maybe used. I know some CB shops sell them used or a new one, whatever. Companies should pay me back and it's very, very useful. I mean, right now I would get some chatter right before this happened. I'd be like, hey, object on road or accident or something, watch out. And I'll always get a heads up and stuff like that. So it's always good to have one, especially for a truck driver. I'm getting one for sure, 100% very soon. All traffic is being bypassed through the service road. So something happened. Oh, the whole semi flipped and is blocking the road, man. Woo. Yep, boys, and that's what I'm talking about. People are crazy here. I mean, a Texas, like, like I said, you know, don't kill me, but yeah, you guys are crazy. Definitely snowed here. I am passing Odessa Midland area. Just look at it. I guess the snowstorm actually passed here and where that semi truck crashed it was there also that makes more sense that means we are actually going into the mouth of the beast so that's gonna be fun In Big Springs, Texas, it's definitely got way, way worse. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is snowing outside and it's kind of flurrying mixed with sleet. It is 30 degrees outside. That's what's kind of worrying me right now. But the good thing is uh, the water that's sprinkling on my window is not freezing. That's a very good sign. That means it is not below freezing yet. It could be still maybe on a road or something, but the first sign you get is if there's icy conditions or the road has iced up is when water gets on you right here and it's not freezing. Right now it's a little wet, maybe a little slushy, but not freezing. So that's a very good sign. We are still going into the mouth of the beast. So we are stopping in about an hour to take our 30 minute break in Sweetwater. It is snowing, boys. And it's not a good thing. Oh yeah, let's get this truck out of the fuel aisle and park and get some food. Ah! 
so cold. Break is almost done and time to eat. This is my little setup. You guys seen it from my truck review. This is how I have everything set up. I eat right here, climb up the ladder, sleep up there, you know, exercise. And I know you guys are gonna be happy, but I actually went back to the keto diet, sort of like, it's gonna be called a rusty keto diet. It's slightly rusty. I'm gonna slightly cheat a little bit. These are baked wings, pretty much has zero carbs, zero sugars. Maybe the sauce has, I don't know, some sort of a slightly sugar. It is like a hot sauce, not really sure. This is just carbonated water and yeah i'm gonna try to diet again also to the diet i'm gonna try it look I'm, i might cheat a little bit here and there but i'm still trying almost zero sugar almost zero cabs every cabs almost zero carbs every day i also added another rule i only eat from 12 to 6 p.m so 18 hours i do not eat so pretty much i uh, i only have six hours to eat in one day and i can i can eat as much times as i want you know like right now this was my first time maybe i'll stop one more time to eat again but yeah and and uh, I'll try to not eat carbs, try to not eat sugar. It's working out pretty well. It's been three days. I, I feel like I've lost a little bit of weight because I just feel hungry all the time. But yeah, it's working out. Also, it's not icing up. It's hella snowing, but it is not icing up. I think we should be good to go all the way to Terrell, Texas. And that's probably where we're going to sleep. morning everybody leaving out of my parking spot and you guys get to see a u.s navy jet somebody's transporting pretty sick they took off the wings blue angels jet not sure if it's real but it looks cool noise noise What a pretty sight. It is still slightly snowing. We do have a little warmer weather. It's about 35 degrees. Snow will not melt, but the roads will not ice up at 35. I mean, they might at, you know, some places, but isn't it pretty, guys? We're almost entering Louisiana, and we're probably gonna be stopping at, beside Vicksburg, I think it was called Tallulah or something, fueling up, getting more food and then keep going. Yesterday, we drove 760 something miles from New Mexico all the way to Terrell, Texas. So that wasn't bad, typical, typical mileage for me. Man, it just looks nice driving through here. I don't know why I haven't seen snow in Louisiana in many, many years. So this will be a first. And we are on our 30 minute break. So food time, let me explain real quick what I'm eating. I got grilled fish, that's sort of healthy, right? I got some vegetable soup and I got leftover chicken wings. It doesn't have carbs, I believe. It might have a little bit of sugar and some slight little things maybe in the soup. I don't care, this is not real keto, this is rusty keto. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this real quick and then we'll be on our way.
Morning everybody. It is very early morning. We woke up beside Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. That's where we stopped the other night. And now we are in South Carolina, right at the border. Ah, not at the border. It's like, you know, between Spartanburg and Columbia area, right there of 85. And we are about to get a truck wash, but I am gonna end the video here. We are offloading over there in North Carolina. Like always, it's about an hour away. So I'm not gonna show all the process right there. I will show the process of us doing this truck wash. Why I got to wash? my girl because she's very dirty from the snow if you guys didn't know when you're you know traveling through the snow a lot of grime and all of this desalting type of things they use it gets all underneath the truck on the sides and I don't like it I like keeping my girl clean and ready to be used so that's why I'm gonna clean her right now but I will end the video here guys I appreciate it for watching stick tuned for more videos if you guys you know like my underglow right there I have a full video of me like telling you guys how I did it and how I installed it and stuff like that so go ahead smash like on that video smash like on this video subscribe and hopefully you guys are having a good day be blessed deuces